our blood pressure is the biggest cause of death in the UK from the strokes, heart attacks and heart failure it causes. And we're therefore very interested in what puts up blood pressure and the major factor is our very high salt intake. We're therefore very interested in reducing salt intake and in the UK we've been leading the world with getting the food industry to slowly reduce the amount of salt that they add to all products both in the supermarkets and eaten out of home because 80% of our salt intake is passive. That is, it's put there before we have a chance to say yes or no. Now you're going to hear about an important source of salt in the UK diet, cheese. Where we've just conducted a big survey looking at the amount of salt in cheese and how far it's hit the targets that have been set for salt reduction. Our study aimed to investigate the amount of salt in cheese sold in the UK. We surveyed over 600 cheese products. We found that the amount of salt in cheese is high and that there is a large variation between the different types of cheeses and within the same type of cheese. We found that halloumi cheese and imported blue cheese contain the highest amount of salt with an average of 2.7 grams per 100 grams and that cottage cheese contain the lowest amount of salt with an average of 0.6 grams per 100 grams. We compared the product survey to the 2012 salt reduction targets. Almost 400 products had salt reduction targets. Amongst them, 85% had already met the target. We looked in more detail at cheddar and cheddar style cheeses, as they represented a third of the products we surveyed. We found that supermarkets' own brand products contained a significantly lower amount of salt compared to uh, branded products. 90% of supermarkets' own brand products had already met the 2012 reduction target compared to 73% of branded products. Our findings demonstrate that further reductions need to be made and that more challenging targets need to be set so that the UK can continue to lead the world in salt reduction. Well, you've heard the results of the survey, which clearly showed a very big range of salt that's put into our cheeses. And uh, you can choose cheeses with much less salt if you look carefully at the label. Now, the real problem, however, is that we feel that the targets that have been set for salt reduction are not nearly stringent enough, and particularly for cheddar cheese, which remains very high in salt, almost equivalent to 70% of Atlantic seawater. So very salty, and particularly as cheddar cheese is consumed by large numbers of children. And we would like to see much more stringent targets set for cheese, and particularly cheddar cheese, because we know in other countries, cheddar cheese has much less salt in it.